Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. But I said I'm not a horse, but I'll give that a go. Well, hello and welcome to Chewing the Cud. This week we've flung our doors wide open so the general public can have a sneaky peek as we film. So you might hear an unexpected noise or two. What have you got for us this week though, Lee? This week I'm bringing you a story about Pink, the singer, not the colour, and something that she has received that she didn't necessarily want. Mm. And we also have another of our crafty queens. Ooh, exciting. We've even got a game for you to join in with as well. On screen now, though, you can see our social media. Just search for at the Cud TV on all your usual social media outlets. And as the names of people who have commented on our social media scroll along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> Did you just lift your hat up and sniff it? No, I lifted my hat up. Sorry, I have an itchy, itchy little eyelid. Like. <laughs> um, and, and because this is not real leather, I know that's hard to believe. Uh -huh. I know it's hard to believe. Um, and it's quite unforgiving in the, in the breathing department. Uh, so I have, a, I have a sweaty scalp. Nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you need a little headband. Yes. Let's soak up the sweat. Yes. Yes. Anyway. Um, have you ever thought about doing a day-to-day -day activity but in a fancy dress? Hello? No, fancy dress. I know. This, oh. No, fancy. Fancy. Fancy dress. Fancy dress. Fancy dress. Fancy dress. <laughs> oh, it's um, fancy dress. You know, like a, a costume. Yeah, mainly things that are really serious that could do with, like, lightening up. So, like, perhaps going to a funeral dressed as a clown. Okay. Or um, an autopsy. Dressed as um, the dinosaur, the, the 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 purple dinosaur. Barney. Barney, yeah. yeah. Autopsy. <laughs> but, uh, when, the, when you go back in the Victorian times, that's mainly what I think about. Okay. Uh, well, this story's about a man who decided to do something in a fluffy bunny outfit. Did he? Yeah. I'm um, Robert Laundrette. In a fluffy bunny? <laughs> yeah. What is it a rob in a laundrette? Clothes, money. Oh, okay. Because yeah, you put money in the machine. Oh, So, okay. in, in America, mm. in Illinois. 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 Um, he's on the run from the police and looking for him. Oh. Because all they saw was a man go into a laundrette, steal clothes and money, and scarpa. Doesn't look like a rabbit. Well. It's, it's like a polar bear. It's a rabbit one. It's in black and white because it's at night. Oh, well, a night vision. Night vision, yeah. Okay. So, he broke in, stole some clothes, stole some money, and had off. Um, and now, because they're, tr they're probably have trouble finding him, because have you seen if someone dressed in a rabbit onesie? Well, yeah, because now he's got different clothes to wear, because he stole I hope. Them. Mm. <laughs> Unless he stole lots of rabbit onesies. It's like, damn yeah, it. <laughs> it was the rabbit onesie washing evening. Yes, he so. would have got away with it if it wasn't yeah. for those damn, <laughs> those um, pesky um, rabbit mm. onesies. I thought they, I thought they would have had um, measures put into place so that people could not steal money from machines. Like? I don't know. He, he broke in to a building. Was it not open? Because they're like open 24 hours, aren't they? Some 24 hour laundrettes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, he broke in, stole clothes, stole money. Oh. Yeah. And then he hopped off. He hopped off. It's a little few pebbles on the floor. Well, to be fair, he got away with it as well because he's got, he's got two lucky rabbits for you, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they, I take it they haven't found him. They have not found him as yet. No. He's still on the run from the law. I didn't get a clear, clear picture of his face. No. Because he was wearing what everyone's too busy going, I'm wearing a onesie. Mm. Hasn't got a tail though, has he? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't got a rabbit's tail. Hasn't got a fluffy tail. He hasn't tail. got a fla fluffy rabbit's tail. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing you're taking away from that. No, it's, it's details, isn't it? So it could be a polar bear then. It could be a polar bear. They have tails too, though, don't they? But only tiny little nubbins. Yeah, but rabbits have only got a little. But they've got like a powder puff tail. I would have I would have expected like a substantial fluffy tail there. Right, when he, he finally gets apprehended. Well, well, where would that will be the thing that we ask? I think we should mm. go along to the court and say guilty because he doesn't have a fluffy tail. Yes. Moving on though. So we're talking about before the show about getting married. Not you and I, but weddings in general. Were we? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, yeah. Yeah, because the things that have happened recently and you've gone, ooh. Okay. Oh, um <laughs> flies flown in. Um and I said, well, not married, it doesn't count. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, catering of a wedding can be quite expensive. It can especially indeed. Especially with the cost of living. 
yes. as it is. Um, have no fear. A, a solution has been brought forward where you can feed people for, for like 180 quid. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. All the way from McDonald's. Classy. Classy indeed. Yeah. £185 for a, a wedding package, which involves McNuggets and burgers and milkshakes and things. To be fair, though... Mm -hmm. Don't say you're on board with it. Some of the weddings that I've been to, uh -huh. and the food, you're just like, you're just trying to be clever now, aren't you? You're trying to be fancy. And I would rather have a McDonald's than, um, like, foie gras and... I like foie gras. No. Ethically not great. Not good. Tasty, also to a wedding where they had... Um, a blood pudding risotto. Black Nobody pudding risotto. wants to eat a black pudding risotto. Tasty. No. I like black pudding um, gratin, so you get the potato. A black pudding, that's a taste sensation. Proper bougie, aren't you? Yeah, well, it's, I once had something with a lime air. That was interesting. Oh, my. <laughs> and it, was just, it was just basically lime cream that they'd whipped up into a froth. Well... But yeah. There is a massive clientele for that. For there that. is a massive clientele for that. Yeah. And you know what? If you're on a budget and you're getting married, and you know, because love is love and you just want to get married, yeah. and you've not got a lot of money, and that's what you want to do, then go for it. Yeah, go through the drive through. Everybody in the back of a bus. No, no they deliver. Oh, did they deliver they it? They deliver it as well. Okay. Yeah. Do you know. Um, Somebody say just eat. Greg's slash Uber Eats. Do, uh, Greg's do a sausage roll wedding buffet. Do they? Mm. Why am I not surprised that you do this? <laughs> it, it's it's like um it's like a wedding. So instead of having a wedding cake, uh -huh. you have like a um like a display of sausage rolls, or like hundreds of sausage rolls. Hundreds? Not hundreds. Well, you could you could have hundreds. Depends what you're so asking for. So just sausage rolls or sausage rolls and steak bakes? I think you whatever you want. Because I prefer a steak bake to a sausage roll. Well, it's not your wedding though, is it? If you it's my wedding, your <laughs> <laughs> <Sure. laughs> wedding, you can have whatever you want. Yeah, I shall. Mm. Yeah, let's find a husband first. Um, but if you want to share with us any way of finding me a husband, it's at the Could TV on social media. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, in the past, you have given me some, some feedback that I don't talk about lady places enough. Lady places? Yes, yeah, so, so of a gene. Okay, and the anatomical features of a female. Yeah. Okay. Lady places. Lady places, yeah. Then. Okay. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd break that and break into break the vagina. Lady. I'd break into the vagina conversation. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and talk about they've done some research. And it, scientists. So the scientists. The scientists. <laughs> men in white coats and ladies in front of them. Yeah. Um, and they've worked out the best way of achieving an orgasm for a lady. Okay. What do you think that might be? With somebody else there. I don't know. It's difficult, isn't it? Do they? I don't know. <laughs> do they? F do they sit on something that vibrates. Do they? Washing machine. Do they? Do they? Do they? Do they stick <laughs> something in there? It's all. It's all. It's all a mystery to me. <laughs> this is why I don't talk about it. But you said I need to talk about vaginas. Because, well, no, uh, because there are but there are people with vaginas that watch, watch the show, and that, that's yeah. great. I just, uh, mm, I've had to do a lot of research for this, oh, uh, this okay. topic. Um, the answer is the missionary position. Missionary position is the best way for a lady to, to have a to have an orgasm. A, a yeah. person with lady parts to have a, an orgasm. Yes. Not all... Person person with a vagina. Yes. There we go. Um, to have an orgasm with penetrative sex is in a missionary position. Okay. Yeah. Um, which goes, you know, all the people that say, "Oh, we've got to try this position." That you know, the walking down the wheelbarrow. Downward dog. Downward dog. That's that's yoga. But you can still do it in sexy time. Can you? Mm. Have you tried? No. No. Because <laughs> it's yoga, Mike. No. <laughs> no. I've been gri gripping the, the, gripping the sheet. Because the person there is having a moment. So the best way for a woman to get off, to a squirt... A person with a vagina. Uh, a person with a vagina to squirt is to, to do it in the missionary position. In the missionary position, yeah, yeah. Led there. Led there. Waiting for it to finish. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, they've obviously said that uh, foreplay is really important as well. Foreplay. Foreplay. So, uh, Bean flicking. Catting it and... Slapping it about, I don't know. Slapping it about. <laughs> it's not a piece of meat that needs tenderising. It's it's a, it's a sensitive <laughs> thing. Why did you get a bit bilious when you say sensitive? Because, right, do you know what? I am a homosexual. Uh -huh. I have never experienced a vagina 
apart from <laughs> in when the I wild. Was born. Um, <laughs> if you're going out, get it off, me, get it off, yeah, me, get it off. No, and I do remember a very long time ago, a very long time ago, um, I went to visit a colleague in hospital who'd just given birth to, to a child. Mm -hmm. um, so I went onto the maternity ward. Did it look like a punch for Jack? Well, I said, could you direct me to blah, blah, blah? And they said, oh, yeah, she's in the room at the bottom. She wasn't at the room at the bottom. The nurses were not very nice people. And they sent me into a room. They obviously went, oh, he's a homosexual, a young homosexual. Let's send him in there and frighten him. And there was a lady in there who was, who was, who was waiting for an examination from a doctor. So she was, she was stirruped up. Predator. She winked at you. She wasn't winking at her, but there was something, <laughs> something down there that, 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 was, that was not nice. And I was very frightened. <laughs> I left. <laughs> I like the thing, if, if they're pregnant and they're giving birth, you look at how dilated they are with how many fingers you can fit up them. Because that stuff afterwards takes a while to go back to the size it, it was before the baby came out. Did it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Did not know that. Kebab me. But that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you, Mike. Vaginas. Oh! <laughs> Never do that again. Never do I again. That. <laughs> no! <laughs> let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. Uh, but it's a pleasure, uh, as always. And coming up after the break, really brings us some showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. We still have our doors wide open for the general public to have a look at what we're doing. But before we get on with anything else, it's Lee and the showbiz. So, mm. there's been a bit of a spate at the moment of celebrities being on stage mm -hmm. and fans throwing things at them or sort of like going on stage and manhandling them yes so recently we've had ava max singer uh -huh. from america she had a fan run on stage and give her a big slap across the face no it's no we shouldn't <laughs> so, be laughing at that that's just the way you said it <laughs> the way, give her something i was thinking like a bouquet of flowers or no, a present they ran on and just gave and her a slap her. Like, and then the man handled we've got a picture of it that that, that shows her being slapped oh. um and then we also had bb rex so that's that is ava max so look at it that was a slap and that's, a, that's a proper because slap her hair is like literally whoosh going completely to the side of her face Look at look at look at his he's like going like that. Is Not he really acceptable. a fan if he slapped her? Well, it was all one of these kind of. Mm, um, and then we had BB Rexa, who is another American singer. Somebody threw a phone at her mid-performance. It's it's not funny. <laughs> that is funny because they've 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 made a mistake there. I've thrown my phone at you. I don't know why they were doing it. Right, the thing is, what, what's she going to do with that? Go, OK, who needs their phone back? It was you. Well, it hit her full on in the face That's and they good. had to stop the, yeah. the, the, the gig and she was really severely bruised. And the guy that they, they arrested for it said, I, was just, I just wanted to, to do a selfie. How would she know as you launch your phone from the audience? What? Was there a note? Was there a post-it note? And it said, can you take a selfie? Um, as it lands in their face. Anyway. Just take a photo of her. It just needs to stop. That needs to stop. Yeah. People getting on stage or throwing things at the stage. Anyway. Unless it's pound, unless it's um, notes. Like notes. 20 pound note. You throw a 20 pound note at me on stage, I'm more than happy to. Oh, okay. Is that when you're stripping? Mm -hmm. Did they just pop it in your, um, your G-string? Put it on, put it on. Yeah, put it, put it back on. <laughs> anyway, so Pink has recently been in this country doing her tour. Love Pink. Um, she's amazing. Um, and she received something unusual on stage. So when she was um, performing in, um, her, I think it was London, uh, her okay. big gig in London, somebody uh, at Hyde Park, somebody put, so she's singing just like a pill, uh -huh. and a fan threw a little bag of stuff on the stage. Drugs. Well, that's what they thought initially, that it, that's what it was. But it turned out that it was the ashes of a fan's mother. Um, who, who, um, yeah, so there is a video online of it. So, what happens is, is that this bag appears on stage. There's a picture of it there, she's holding the bag. So, she spots it, picks it up, and goes, Is this your mum? And the person in the audience goes, Yeah. And Bink goes, I don't know how to feel about this. And then kind of goes to the and kind of puts it down. Um, yeah, there is, there is no kind of, she said, I have, to, I have to say that was a first. Um, now, it, it isn't clear as to why this person... What the thought is, is that the mother had been a big fan of Pink, 
okay. when she was alive and obviously didn't make it to the concert. So well, the, she did. Well, she did <laughs> in, in some form. Um, and Pink ended up with it. We don't know if Pink kept him or gave them her back or sprinkled them around the... <laughs> Sprinkled around the stadium. Now, you see, I do know people that have, have basically taken ashes on holiday. Yeah. Which is just a little bit strange. But if that person liked the place that they get their ashes sprinkled, then that's fine. But that's it. That is one step away from going, but that like, person like. But what if, it, what if it had burst? <laughs> ashes in. Mother's well, ashes in Pink's face. It does. I mean, that is weird. It is weird. It is weird. You know, I get the logical step of going, look, I would have taken them on holiday or take them to the Pink concert. Maybe they're on holiday to see the Pink concert. Maybe they travel to London on holiday. Yeah. To see Pink and take... But well, just, just hold the bag up. <laughs> it's just as weird. <laughs> so that she can see and hear. And then, then take <laughs> it away with you. I just can't see and hear. They can. And then, they but can't. then throw them at the... <laughs> don't throw them on stage. Fortunately, she what, can't... What, as it so, so is it, the lad on the stage, you hear a little, ow! <laughs> Um, always wanted to be a pop star, um, <laughs> but don't throw it. Now, fortunately, Pink kind of saw the the funny side of it. Who knew? <laughs> then, so a couple of days later, mm -hmm. somebody gave her a wheel of brie, a oh, huge I'd, wheel I'd of be brie. Happy with that? I'd be alright with so that. So she was singing a song, and somebody lifted this huge wheel, and she went, "Thank you." Um, <laughs> I, I said, what, where's the crackers? Where's the, where's the, where's where's the grapes? The, yeah. Where's the beef? Where's the wine to go with it's it? Not, where's the picnic blanket? Exactly. Um, like, I'm stopping the concert now. I've got brie tra. <laughs> so in general, don't throw, don't throw phones. Don't throw things don't at slap. Don't throw things at Don't people. throw things on stage unless they're edible. I <laughs> say <laughs> it with me. Um, oh. <laughs> like Chicken nuggets. Like a dimension Pac-Man. <laughs> Get them in the mouth. Get them out yeah. of you. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Um, see, so we're chasing around ghosts. I think mm. throwing things on stage is good, like gifts and stuff, cause, uh, but not at people. Not at them. Not at them. And not things that used to be humans that are now just the end of them. <laughs> the remnants. The remnants of them. <laughs> the remnants of your dad. They throw the head on the decapitated head. Weird. Anyway, so we'll move on from that. Okay. Now, we rarely get political on this show. We sometimes, sometimes do. Sometimes we do, but it's but, rare. Yeah. But at the moment, with the state of the world as it is, we're, we're going to get Good. political. And celebrities it's tend a... to kind of shy away from being political. They do. They don't want to, to kind of... Alienate, alienate people. However, Trixie yeah. Mattel... Drag queen, who is probably one of the most successful queens to come mm -hmm. out of that franchise, yeah. um, has been addressing the anti-drag legislation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> has been addressing the anti-drag legislation. 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 There we go. Um, movement in the this US. This is why we don't do hard-hitting news. No, it's because you can't, can't do say it properly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so she was at um, the 34th annual um, GLAAD Awards, mm -hmm. which is the Gay Lesbian Against Adversity... Discrimination. Discrimination awards. And she was interviewed about it. So she, that's her on the red carpet, looking looking stunning. Um, and as kind of basically, she was asked about it and she didn't hold back. She was mm. like, I'm absolutely sick of um, politicians using drag as a scapegoat to push their own agendas. Yeah. So you can go on online and, and, and watch it, but she's kind of, comp she, she doesn't hold back. She says, this is what they always do. They take some random cause that they know people will vote for based on nothing but what has been said, made up, and because you can't even come up with data, um, people just get on board with it. So she said one example of this kind of anti-looming, -loom anti-drag wave is that the Republican in one of the states in Tennessee mm -hmm. wants to put a ban, um, a bill that bans drag in that state completely. Yeah. Um, that has been stopped, but Tracy Brown to kind of like say that she has extensively tried to find evidence and information on whether drag queens have ever been associated with um, abuse of children, mm -hmm. paedophilia, sexual acts against pe uh, people that without, without their consent, and has found absolutely zero cases. Yep. So she said there's no drag queens being arrested for sexual assault of children. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen. Um, we've got a picture of here. So she... So, out of drag as Brian, mm -hmm. she does um, the Bold and the Beautiful podcast with Katya, who's always, always called Brian. Um, she she does she's not a fan of religion, and she no. does kind of go off on religions, kind of like saying, "Do you know what? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the fact that you know just because you are this mm -hmm. means that everything you say is true." So yeah. I'm very passionate about it. Um, 
but just because you're a figurehead doesn't mean to say that you're right. It's not. It's mm-hmm. crazy. You don't ever find drag queens trying to restrict other people from doing anything ever. Which, it makes sense. Yeah, it does. I mean, I mean in this country, we've got the, the whole point of, in the UK, pantomimes. Yeah. Right? We've had drag on stage for, for hundreds, for of, hundreds years. of hundreds of years. And it's it like, you can't just decide um, now that it's now a problem. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. I mean, just on a, on a lighter note, that's Trixie and her, her, her long-term boyfriend. Husband, um, I want to say. Hmm? I want to say husband. Are they not no, married? No, they're not married. Oh, okay. Not married. David Silver uh, right. in Trixie Motel, which is one of my bucket list destinations. Is it really? It's all pink, oh. full of Barbie dolls. Just made it for me, really. Yeah. Anyway, that was that was a little bit of polit- politics there. Yes. We're going we're to move on to something more ridiculous now. Zac Efron. I'm not saying he's ridiculous. He's not ridiculous. He's lovely. Yeah. So Zac Keep Efron is, is known for his incredible transformations for his film roles. Yes. Um, or kind of not, you know, he doesn't turn himself into a tree or anything like that, but kind of more <laughs> along the lines of his, his physicality. So he... he he was in. Oh, we're getting wolves. Oh, we've got we're, that, <laughs> an audience finally appreciating our our output. Um, so yeah, so he did Baywatch, uh-huh. which he completely changed his physique for that. Well, he got um, shredded, didn't he? He got shredded. He has spoken about how horrific the process was. Well, shredding is horrendous. Um, the, the kind of really mind. affected his mental health. Yeah, it will do. Um, we've, we've got a picture of him in his different looks over the years. So can I mean? He was a geek when he was in high school, yeah. musical, back in the day. He was 12. And he's, so. to be fair, he's grown up hot. He's become a daddy, hasn't he? Yeah, I don't care. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, but at the moment, he is prepping himself for his next role, mm-hmm. which sees him kind of go to the complete extreme of body transformation. So he's going to be starring in a film called The Iron Claw, which oh. is about... Oh, did that, Pete, you're, oh, that dog likes that. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> into it. Um, um, so The Iron Claw is about a, a family of uh, wrestlers Okay. Back in the kind of like late seventies, early eighties, that were massively popular in in America, um, and some of them sort of died. Um, and so he's going to play be playing one of the brothers in this film, and has bulked the crud out of himself to represent them. Now, do you find that exci- exciting? Do you find that exciting? Yeah. Do you find that? Do you? Yeah. It looks. I like... actually prefer that to ripped. Do you? That I prefer to shredded because that you could have a nap on. Because big muscle, it's it's soft and squishy, so you can have a nap and a nuzzle. Speak of experience, Mike. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, he looks like <laughs> he have looks, we met. <laughs> he looks like a he-man. Yeah, yeah. He-man would get it. Yeah, a he-man would get it with that hair. Meaty. That's what I'm going to say. That's and that's all for this week's showbiz news. Oh, well, thank you for that, Lee. We always know that I like my meat. Well, stick around because coming up, we have a quiz for Lee in the game of the week. You're watching Chew in the Cud. This week we've still got our door wide open welcoming the public, but we're going to play Uza Kazoo anyway. And this one is for the guy who gives sequin and custard Labrador energy. It's Lee. So off you pop. Sequin and custard. And custard, yes. Yeah. Come. Game of the week. So Lee's got his kazoo. Looks a bit like a crap pipe. Um, and he's going to sing some songs and I have to try and work out what they are. Are you ready, Lee? Yes, I am, and it's a disco crack pipe. Disco crack pipe, okay. (laughs) It's very important to get that clear. Okay. This week, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be attempting um, some very famous songs from the 90s. Okay. Big hit songs from the 90s. Okay, Okay. so we're gonna gonna start, we're gonna start. This is the this is the verse. Oh, okay. Um. Right now I know what it is, right? <laughs> because that's how you sing that song, right? <laughs> but what was going on before that? I was doing the verse. What were the what was the what verse were you doing? That's not the verse. Um, um, That's the thing that threw me. They're going, it sounds like hit me baby one more time. However, 
You said it was the verse. We want it well. You know, you got it in the end, so um, it's fine. I look more than bicycle because she went, nah, 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 and that's how you do that. <laughs> it got there. You got it. Right. Okay, next right. one. <laughs> No. What? That was that. That was that. Okay. Keep going. That was the rap bit in the middle. Oh, the spoken word bit. Do the chorus. <laughs> No? No. Vogue! By Madonna! Doop doo! Doop doo! Come on! Vogue! Let your body move to the music! That! But the thing is, you're singing it, and I still wouldn't have recognised it. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, let's move on to the next 90s classic. Okay. This is the song about being a bit of a sexually liberated human being, shall I say? Is it? If you want to be my lover, you've got to get with my friends. Well, you got it, you got it. Yeah, it's one of people. It's quite clearly, if you want to shag me, you got to shag me, mates and all. If you want to, what? What it's saying? If you want to be if my lover, if you want to be my friend, you've got to shag all my mates. No, first. if you want to be my lover, lover. If you want to get, to get with my friends. No, it's not get to. It means you've got to, you've got to be, you've got to be nice to my friends. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm gonna put my phone up here because I can't nice. see. I've gone blind. Uh. Okay. Um, right. Okay. Let's have another one. Um. Okay. Quite a sad song. Quite a sad song, that one. But I don't know, because I don't know if you've got it right. It's Waterfalls by TLC. It is! It's a yes. very sad song. It is a sad song, but it's also a, it's also a banger. Which is slightly depressing. Yeah. Three letters took him to his final resting yeah. place. Yeah. A, me a melancholic banger is, is the melancholic term. Melancholic banger. I think that's my new rider profile. It's your, 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 I'm a melancholic. <laughs> 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 yeah, when you just cry. <laughs> uh, why is this so good? <laughs> okay, right. Next one. No, I don't know, actually. Sorry. <laughs> what I'm loving is, even though you don't know what song it is, you're saying you have the same facial expression for every single song from the 90s. It's all, it, it, you literally do the same thing every single time. You go... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just getting, I'm just feeling the vibe, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. Next one. I, I abandoned that one because it. I, what was it? It was summertime by DJ Jazzy Jazzy Jizzy Jeff and. and well, it's the a French... rap one. You wouldn't have been able to do it. <laughs> did it <laughs> summer, <laughs> summertime. <laughs> it's summertime. Um, okay, right. Next one. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I said what reverb? That sounds really yeah. good. You went the wrong way. What? When you're doing Torn by Natalie and Bruno. Yeah! Which is a song about anal. No, it's not. Nothing's right, I'm torn. Internal, no, not internal. Yeah, internal, Inter yeah, yeah. Emotionally <laughs> torn, yeah, torn, not physically. I'm lying out of shame, bound and broken on the floor. Yeah, but that's just because you've got Illusion a smutty mind changed. about everything that is. Into something um, okay, right. Let's go. It's one. huge and I um, can't help it. I was torn. Let's go for another one. Okay. Dizzy by Jay McDonald. What? Dizzy by Jay McDonald. No, that wasn't from. No. Dizzy. This is 
song by the, the still barely with us. <laughs> the late Maja Madonna. It is not the late Madonna. She's fine. <laughs> At the, well, by the, we've recorded this like, and then ten minutes later she might be dead. So we don't. No, know. she's fine. Yeah. Um, singing about, about going on a night out and coming back with a kebab. Hey. She's on the phone to her mate Anna Friel. Anna Friel, like I just got home. Anna Friel. <sighs> um, Ray of Light by Madonna. <laughs> Great. Okay, right. So let's do another one. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> to be fair, I only know like the one sentence out of this song, which I'm just repeating over and over again. Um, uh, no, I don't really know. I can hear it in my head, but okay. it will not translate into so music. So you can hear it in your head. The voices can hear it. <laughs> Yeah? No. No? What was it? Umbop by Hanson. How do you... I think... Uh, Gallery, are you putting reverb on this? Because I'm quite liking the sound of my own voice when I'm singing back. Uh, they, they put pitch shift on it to deep. To deep, uh, okay. <laughs> um, How do you... Just do Umbop again. What? As in sing it, or yeah, yeah. no, what are you going to do with it? With no, I just wait to do, just so I can hear what your version is. No, because you're going to do something to it afterwards. Because I know all of it. Da ba do up, dilly da ba do up, da ba do. Yeah, yeah. Boo, 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 boo. What, what you were doing was something different. So no, it was, it was that. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Um, ooh. Okay, right, okay. Do, 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 that was only because you've been re-watching Gimme 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 recently and you've, it's emblazoned in your mind. No, it's it's one of my favourite songs from the 90s. Is it? Right? And I didn't want you to ruin it anymore. Oh. <laughs> do, 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 yeah. do, do. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, right, okay, we're... Uh, do, 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 do. It's, it's, I can see the synapses flaring in your brain. I'm, I'm wondering what tablets you're taking. No, that sounds exactly the same. I, to be fair, I don't know any of the... Um... <sighs> right, so you got to pick the songs. You got to pick the era. Yeah. And you still don't know the songs. I do know them, but I don't know the full song unless it's playing in the car. <laughs> No idea. It's D Ream and things can only get better. Do not put that kazoo back in your face. Is that it? I That's all. I'm, I'm, I'm not willing to put up with any more. Oh, um, but stick around because after the break, it's time for Lee to teach us all something useful in Crafty Queens. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> no, this is away. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. We still all got our doors wide open for people to have a peek in if they want to. But let's shift your gears ready for what I'm going to say is Crafty Queens, but it's probably just a random pile of... Um, hello. Hello. Um, Where's so the wig gone? Oh, wig, it was very hot. It's down here. Do you want to... Shall I just... Shall I, come on, come on. It's here. It's a dusky, dusky rose. Um, but it's very, very hot, so I'm not going to wear it. Okay. Um, yeah, it was a choice. It was. It was. Um, anyway, so this week we're going to do a hot trend <laughs> that all the crafty people... <laughs> Just want to point out that previously you've had me making small, inedible food. I loved that. And to be fair, I was tempted just to do that again, but I've, I've gone for something else. So apparently dripping, um, literally beef? dripping. Beef dripping? Not beef dripping, paint dripping. Okay. So I, I have I have invested in a kit because, I, 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 I mean, I'm good, but I'm not that good. I could not craft um, such a symmetrical um, vessel. Okay. Um, on my, oh, somebody's, somebody's, somebody's having a good sink there. there. So, um, 
You have got a vessel. I have. In front of you, you have a tall vessel. I, do. I have a more it's of a like wide an amphora. vessel. Mm, yeah. So um, it's it's really quite simple. We've we've preset them up. So these are kind of like a um, porous clay type uh -huh. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you said we've preset them up, so I'm just presetting it up. Not to make you a liar. Oh, there. Okay. You there we go. go. Now they just come with with gloves. Oh, okay. If you want to wear gloves. Always glove up. Always glove up. Um, 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 yeah, there are two. I don't know where my other one's gone. So I'm going to glove up. That noise you might be able to hear isn't the sound of my joints. It's the sound of the lift. You say it's the sound of your arm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so have you, ha <laughs> have you gloved up? I have gloved up. Okay. So, um, what you're going to do is, it's, it's just a, it, it, it isn't complicated, okay. it's just more artistic. So you can choose, you have a variety of different coloured um, paints, uh -huh. and all you do is take the lid off and just drip them down your thing in a pattern that makes you, makes you happy. So what's the cup for then? I don't know what that's for. So, if you read the instructions... Yeah. It says to pour the paint into the cup in a in a la in layers, and then pour from the cup onto the bottom of the vase. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that though. I'm going to do that, but you I'm going do to take that my gloves off because my, my hands way. are sweaty and I don't like it. Yeah, you do it the way it says. I'm going to do it the way it says. Swap, to do things. and I'm just going to freestyle it. Yeah, you do that because I, I my artistic uh -huh. integrity cannot. <laughs> exist, yeah. By um, by rules. So I'm just going to kind of... Ooh. Like you say, this is messy and I like it. But you messy in a controlled way. Messy in a controlled way. I'm just going to see where it... I'm just going to see where the paint takes me. Where well, the music the makes me... What are you singing? I know where the music takes me. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, so I'm freestyling it, but you're, you're being a SWAT and you're doing it the way that it says. I'm doing it the way it says to get the best effect here. To get the, well, who, who knows whose is the best effect? Art is subjective. It is, and I subjectively think mine's going to be the best. But Ooh, I, but it's just dripping, just dripping. Pour and pour and pour. I'm liking it though. Oh, Mike! Oh, I wish I'd done that. It's almost like they gave you instructions, isn't it? Ooh, that's pretty! I'm going to do it, still doing it a different way, though. Ooh, look at yours! And... I've managed to do it in a way that does the trans flag. Does the what? It's the trans flag. Oh, one. you have, yeah. Mm, I'm just, I'm just giving mine. I'm just, I mean, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. But I think it's important to have comparison. Compa yes. With com just, yeah. Compare and contrast, I believe. Yes. So well, I'm going to do. It just looks like you've had some birds visit after it's had a very fruitful diet. But again, that's still nice. Really. Yeah, it's still an attractive pat on. Uh huh. But then, what if I did that? What you just no, no, I it think would ruin it. Time to do it. No, I don't want to. You don't want because to. I think it would just end up in a, in a blobby mess. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna just add more paint. Just add more. You know what they say? More is more. More is more. More is more. And um, okay. So yours is yours is pretty much done because you've just done. Just what it says to do. Poured it in. Where well, I'm, st I'm still, I'm still going. Yeah. And making a pattern. So mine's prettier and more efficient. Yeah, but also it has taken. You can't just go over well, there. That's it. That's it. Done. No, I can't because it's done. Uh. Just sat here on grinder now. Oh, you've gone a different way now. I'm going a different way now. I'm, I'm going. That's, that's what makes things look really good. I was randomly changing ideas. I was I from. was experimenting first, but then it was telling me to go in a different direction. Which so I now you're am just squirting. 
I'm doing it. Does this... Ooh, blobs. Blobbies. If you just turn it around a little bit, because it looks like you've just done a penis because you've got two blobs in a line. I'm like that. I'm liking. That's nice. Uh-huh. I don't know whether to stop or carry on. What should I do? Well, do you want to stop or do you want to carry on? Oh, I do want to carry on, but I'm also very worried that it will just turn into a great big lump of... I promise you it won't look any worse. <laughs> that is... That's attractive. What if I did it really high up? No, I'm not so keen on that. Don't like that. But it's still not... It's still not horrible. You're right. It's not. It's very different. It's uniquely different. What if I kind of like... Boo! 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 That's... That is Jackson Pollock. Boo! Yeah, it's Boo! Oh, no. That was too much. That's Boo! too much. That was the line, wasn't Boo! it? <laughs> Boo! But then... If then you've got to go back. With a bit more pink. Boo! Boo! Don't st <laughs> The gallery's saying I think it's done now. Selfish. Anyway, there you go. That's beautiful. Um, if you want to get hold of these, I can't remember where I bought them, so whatever. Um, yeah. Um, we will be displaying these on the shelves at some point. Yeah. So, remember, if you can't get any vagine or a peen, be a crafty queen. Similar, but different. Yeah, good and shite. No, I don't think there is a case of that. Do you not? No, I think... Well, that's because yours is shite. No, mine's... <laughs> yours, yours is... You, you've gone the way that it told you to do it. Uh-huh. And I've gone a different direction. I've gone... I've used my creative um, energies. <laughs> yeah. And I think they're both beautiful in their own way. Um, and I, and I think I think a single a single chrysanthemum in each when they are dry would would set them off a lovely. Single chrysanthemum. Single chrysanthemum. A real one. Yes. No, a fake one. <laughs> to say you with a real flower. Or um, um, what are those other ones? Those blouses, those big ones. Rhododendrons. Rhododendrons. I love a rhododendron. What about a peony? Yes. You want yeah. a you want a flower with substance. Girth. What about a, a traditional rose or a cabbage rose? A cabbage rose, Maybe. a tea rose. I like tea roses. Is this the tiny, gayest conversation we've ever had? Tea roses are tiny little roses. Are not, they? Yeah, I'm not a fan of tea roses. Oh. But yeah. All right. Yeah. Petunia. That's um, that's almost the end of the show for this week. Petunia. Petunia. Emily posts polite pussy. That was from another program. Anyway, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. That's almost the end of the show for this. Remember, oh, I don't know one. Just yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that's almost the end of the show for this week remember to join us on our social media at the Cud TV thank you for watching and we'll see you all soon bye, bye. see I've got paint here I want to do this don't touch that's, it's very serious paint it's, it's a serious paint it's um Dean, Dean's in a rush. He Thank wants you. to get us these like... <laughs>